Hi there and welcome back to Japan. That certainly is a good visual aid. We're at April Fool's Day and you know what? April Fool's is quickly becoming quite a tradition for the Japanese rock and pop groups to do funny things on. So when it came to midnight last night, I was waiting to see what Bandmade would put out as the current, should we say, champions of doing crazy things on April 1st. And I was rather surprised to find not only them, but two other groups doing some amazing stuff. So we're going to talk about three really awesome treats that we got for April Fools this year. Feel free to get in the comments and tell me, of course, if there's any fantastic things you saw that I maybe missed. Anyway, here's the three that I saw and I thought were fantastic. So first of all, the champions of April the 1st usually is Bandmade. They have previously brought us Band Michael, which is when they took their seriously hard rock sound and applied traditional Japanese not only instruments but look to it and completely rebranded the band making everyone think wait is this a whole new band well they played it off of an EP and everything to boot then of course we had Klupa where Miku the founding member went and basically made her own pop rock group that's had some great songs and very recently has had its own EP come out as well basically they lean into this stuff quite hard so we were kind of excited to see what you'd get for April 1st and you can't expect them to do a new band every single time. We had discussed what we'd all like to see on the Discord community and there was all kinds of things, everything from Psyche doing jazz all the way through to another reinvention of the band. However, they came out with something rather interesting, which is they said three major announcements and we got to see a video of Miku in her Klupo guys reacting to them. Yes, reaction video style. Now Miku is obviously a huge personality, even at the least of times, so seeing her do a reaction video was just a really fun parody on one of the things that makes them so big anyway, because of course they're a band who are probably bigger internationally than they are even in Japan because of the fact that they have such a fantastic internet presence. They've got so much personality, so much image to back up the talent that they also clearly have, I often say, probably on average the most talented band currently playing in my opinion. As for the free announcements that they had this year, I must admit for me the biggest one, maybe not everyone's going to agree with this, I think the biggest one, the acoustic CD. I'm really looking forward to that acoustic CD. The reworked versions of their songs they've done of recent and acoustic forms on their uh, live performances have been really interesting. They don't just sit down and play the songs acoustic, they've really tried to reinvent the songs in a way that is kind of in keeping with the band who would do things like Band Michael. They haven't just regurgitated their songs on an acoustic guitar, they've really thought about it. They've been musicians and songwriters. Writers. So I am really looking forward to this acoustic CD a lot. I know a lot of other people are probably going to be really excited about the announcements of the two extra shows they're doing in America and I must admit again that is a fantastic thing. In my opinion I always find the announcements of these kind of shows to be nice because we were like oh good the band are doing well. However when you've got a fan base that covers most of the world probably having two extra shows in one country that you're already touring in probably leaves a small number of people going yay and a lot of people going oh please come to us <laughs> still i can't complain i am in japan however that is great news for 20,000 more fans who are going to get to see them so yeah no one can complain about that certainly probably the weirdest thing actually about the april fool's prank that band made did here with this video is that i was kind of expecting miku to go more overboard with her reaction to really almost parody the reaction genre by being really over the top in the way she responded but she was fairly muted even for the most excitable hatter that we all know i also kind of joked on our discord community that i thought maybe this isn't doesn't really even feel like it's an April Fool's prank it's just kind of an announcement but then I realized there is an April Fool's element to this because imagine if you were one of those casual people who you know you were just kind of interested in man-made you saw this but you maybe didn't know yet that Miku wasn't just the lead singer of Klupo or maybe you didn't know who she was maybe you thought it was a genuine reaction maybe there were some April Fool's out there this year Next, I saw the frankly rather charming video by Unlucky Morpheus where they did a video for M Anthem where they were all playing each other's instruments, all playing each other's parts. Now, for me, this was just so charming. I didn't see this coming and I really liked it. It was so simple. Just get them in the room, have it nicely filmed on good quality cameras and just have them having a good time pretending to be each other. 
What I really liked about this is that, okay, maybe it wasn't an April Fool's prank. No one seriously legitimately believed that this was a change in the band, but I felt it was a real gift to the fans. I felt that if you're a fan, this was something that would be just really charming for you to watch. It's obviously not for non-fans. If you're not a fan of the band, you're not really gonna understand what's going on and you're not really gonna get anything from it. So this to me was them putting time and effort into doing something charming and endearing for their fans. And another thing that really gave this a little bit of an extra kick was the fact that obviously Unlucky Morpheus are usually in that visual K area where everything's about striking poses, looking cool. There's a kind of serious, there's a, there's a drama to them. Everything's dramatic. There's a theatrical element, I guess you could say. So seeing them just kind of relaxing and being themselves and laughing and smiling and having fun, I really like that as well. You get a lot of that on their social media if you follow their individual social medias, but seeing it actually on screen with them playing music in this kind of music video setting, which they would usually do so theatrically, but doing it with such a charm and personality, I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. To me, that was an unexpected joy and it had me grinning from ear to ear. So massive kudos to Unlucky Morpheus. But next we have to talk about the band who, in my opinion, I think they took the crown home this year and that was Passcode. Now, what Passcode did was probably more in line with what we've seen Bandmate do in the past, which is that they just came out and they reinvented themselves. And they reinvented themselves in a rather clever way. And what they did was come out with probably the most sugary sweet girl band AKB48 sounding video you can imagine video and song. The video was really, really AKB-ish as well with all bright, colorful pinks and yellows and everything and we noted again i was talking to my discord community around about midnight last night and we were talking a lot about the fact that the mixing of the vocals was all done very corally in that akb way again where none of the voices particularly stood out they were all equal in a sort of non-distinct choral way it felt like they really lent into the parody what i also liked was that the song name now my japanese is not perfect but it seemed to be referencing the sakura season that we're currently in here's some photographs of me standing with sakura Yes, what a tourist. You wouldn't believe I live here. Um, <laughs> you had that kind of um, feeling from the title that it was about the pollination of Sakura. I get the feeling that I need to check the uh, lyrics a bit more as I imagine there was something of a double entendre thing going on there. I wouldn't put it past passcode. Not at all. I also adored that last bit with the last frame where everything goes to black and then you see their, what is usually a uh, logo with a barbed wire and it comes up and instead it's this cute bubbly passcode logo. There was just something really cool about the fact they lent into it so hard. I also thought that Emily's reinvention was particularly funny. Of course, we've seen her doing songs like uh, Dame Dame with uh, Lady Baby before, which of course Lady Baby were very much about mixing the pop and the heavy in a much more contrasting way. Whereas Passcode do it more as a, a sound that is formed from pop and heavy elements. Um, Lady Baby were more about having contrasting pop and metal in the same songs, uh, sort of bouncing between the two. So we have kind of seen Emily do this cutesy stuff before. So seeing her do this now, it was al almost impossible to recognize her, but I thought it was really fantastically carried off and it did give a little bit of a callback to that side of her previous work. The other members, brilliant as well. Yeah, I just felt they totally really leaned into it. They did a fantastic job. They brought a song which was, it was short and sweet. They didn't outstay their welcome trying to do something too big and serious as a single. They made a short, sweet statement of a song. It was fun. I, I just thought, again, brilliant for fans confuse the hell out of anyone who hasn't heard them before, maybe thinking, oh, that's just what they are. And then you put on some of their other songs and get your head blown off. Um, <laughs> I, I just, yeah, I thought it was fantastic. So three brilliant entries there from three groups who we really like. Was there anything I missed? Were there more maybe from the past? Because I've only really been aware of this um, April the 1st thing being a, a thing for Japanese artists, really for the last sort of four or five years, perhaps. So are there any older examples that you can think of? What would you like to see bands doing moving forwards? What April Fool's pranks would you really wish could happen? Let me know. I'm looking forward to reading your comments on this and which was your favorite of the three that I have mentioned today. So until I see you in the comments very soon. Oh, it's windy up here. For now, from Japan. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>